you. So today I am doing this Halloween tutorial. Um, I was going to wear fangs, but mine failed miserably. Like, I cannot even... They failed. This is kind of a sexy kind of vampire. I did add some rhinestones to this just to give it a little extra oomph and obviously this spider web that's going on on my face. I just thought I'd add a little something extra. I hope you enjoyed this Halloween tutorial. It is actually my very first Halloween that I am actually going to dress up. So I hope that I did okay and this isn't disappointing for you. So um, yeah, just go ahead and keep on watching. So to start off with, we're just going to take this Revlon Photo Ready Perfecting Primer and I just feel like adding primer to your face will help the face paint and everything go on a lot smoother and easier because that face paint that I used is so hard to blend into your skin. So now we're just going to take this white face paint that I got at Party City and then just some foundation, whichever foundation that you feel that will blend in really easy, then just go ahead and use that. And I'm actually just going to take a clean styrofoam plate. You want to use two parts white paint and then one part um, foundation just because you want a very light look. If you are very fair then you don't have to do that. You can just use whatever foundation that you have. I'm just going to take a q-tip and I just took off the um, the fluff that has they have on it and I'm just going to go ahead and mix in the foundation into the white makeup. So with the same q-tip I'm just going to go ahead and apply this liberally all over my face. You want to work kind of quickly with this because it does dry kind of fast. And make sure to apply some um, on your eyelids as well because we want our whole face to match um, to be one whole color. So just go ahead and make sure that everything matches and even bring it down your neck. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a regular makeup sponge to blend this into my skin. And like I said, go ahead and do this kind of quickly. So as you guys can see, this is really patchy and this is why I do not like this face paint just because it is so patchy regardless of how much you kind of try to blend it even with your fingers or whatever. Like it just, it is so dang patchy. So um, I would, I would really recommend that you invest in like maybe a foundation that is a couple shades lighter than your own skin tone just to kind of make this a lot easier because... This is so hard to blend. But I find that when you set it with your translucent powder, it looks a lot better, but it's still kind of patchy. So, um, again, I would just invest in a cheaper, um, lighter foundation. This is, like, about three or four coats, to be honest with you. It's just, uh, it's so bad. But, anyway, um, I'm going to make it a little bit better by setting it with this Airspun translucent powder. And... The first time that I did this, when I set it with the powder, it actually looked a million times better. So that's what I'm going to do and hope for the best. So I'm just going to take a a makeup sponge and I'm actually going to press this onto the skin. Now that you've beaten your face half to death, like honestly, ugh, this is so frustrating and I look so weird. But anyway, we are going to move in with the brows and I'm just going to take a black eyeliner. This is just Max Engraved and I'm just going to go ahead and line my brows with this, like fill them in with this. I'm just going to go ahead and blend this into my actual brows and wow that face paint is actually making them look grayish. Nice kind of sharp arch. Now what I'm going to do is just take Black Bean by NYX and I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over just my lid. Well, not all over, just near my lash line. And I'm just going to go ahead and take my ring finger and just blend it out. Now I'm just going to take Onyx by Bare Minerals, which is just a matte black. And what I'm actually going to do is add this to my brows because, like I said, my brows look gray and I don't like that. Now I'm just going to take this base shadow brush by Real Techniques and I'm going to dip it into this Onyx color. And I'm just going to take a cotton pad. Anyway, I'm just going to place that right underneath my brow to, to grab any fallout. And I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. I'm also going to drag this color right underneath my lower lash line. Kind of connect it to the top. I'm going to drag this a little lower than I normally would just... Because I want that vampy kind of look. 
Now with the MAC 224, I'm just going to go ahead and blend out this black into my crease. This step is completely optional, but I just recently bought this um, color design shadow by Lancome. And this is in All That Sparkles, and it's this amazing black, silver, kind of glittery um, eyeshadow. And the camera is not giving it any sort of justice. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take it on that same base shadow brush and I'm going to I'm going to apply that all over my lid. Now what we're going to do is exaggerate our line. I'm actually just going to start here at the end. And I'm going to like I said exaggerate it. And connect it down here. And what I used for that, I forgot to mention, was NYC's Liquid Liner. I absolutely love this liner because it gives me a lot of control of where I am placing that liner. As you guys can see, I also winged it out right here in the front just because I feel like it adds that more of that vampy kind of look to it. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, you guys will know that I actually added a web, like a spider web, to this eye. What you basically do is you start by lining your eyes. You just want three basic kind of lines. A start kind of thick and then get thinner as you go out. What you're going to do is you're going to start doing little itty bitty kind of C's. Again, this is a completely optional um, step. What I'm going to do is take some lash glue and apply it to that paper plate. And I'm actually going to add rhinestones to each line right here and also right here and right here. And I'm just going to use these itty bitty ones that I know that you probably won't even be able to see. Now to add some definition to my face, I'm actually going to take a small kind of smudge brush and I'm going to go ahead and take that black again and I'm just going to go ahead and start lining where it is that I want my definition to be. Now taking any bronzer of your choice, I'm just going to use Goddess by Wet n Wild. I'm going to take this blending brush, well this contour brush by Real Techniques. Now I'm actually going to use that to blend this out. But as you guys can see, it gives kind of a grayish effect to kind of give some definition to the face, but also make it look like our face is kind of sunken in. I'm actually just going to line my lips with this hot red pencil by Italia. It's sort of a harsh kind of triangle. You can leave your lips plain red, but I'm actually going to do an ombre lip just because I felt like it would be kind of fun. The colors that I'll be using is Bruised by NYX, and it's just a very dark wine kind of red. It's super dark. I'm also going to take Wet n Wild Cherry Balm, which is a good dupe for Diva. And lastly, I'm going to take Red Velvet by Wet n Wild. So I'm going to start off with Bruised and start this on the outer part of my mouth. How scary do I look right now? Like, seriously. Next, I'm just going to take Cherry Balm. And I'm going to add that right after. And I'm just going to leave the center of my lips like that. And you just kind of smack your lips together to get it to blend. Now I'm just going to take a red velvet and I'm going to add that right there in the center. Now I'm just going to take this concealer brush and I'm actually going to go ahead and blend this all in and get a sharp line right here on my lips. So to finish off the eyes, I'm just going to go ahead and add some false lashes and these are kind of pretty out there. They are full and spiky. So I'm just going to take this blue right here from my 120 palette from BH Cosmetics, tiny bit of it, and I'm just going to apply this right here by my mouth. And that's just going to give us a bruise kind of look. And over that, from the same 120 palette, I'm actually going to take this red right here. 
It's where it is really pigmented. So you want to be careful. And I'm going to blend that into the blue. I'm just going to take my finger and blend that out. I'm kind of going to smudge my lipstick on this side into it so it looks like I'm bruised and also looks like I have been drinking blood. Now I'm going to take that same plate again. This is coming in handy. And I'm going to place some of this fake blood on here. And again, just with a Q-tip, I'm just going to take some of that blood. I'm just going to place this all over my mouth and kind of get it to drip downward. I'm going to place it all over my lips as well. Well, not all over my lips, but... We don't want this to look neat because obviously we've been drinking blood and I don't know of a vampire that drinks blood neatly, do you? I didn't think so. If you can get fangs to work, good for you. I cannot get these to work. So um, anyway, now you just want to style accordingly. So obviously I am wearing a cape and I got this at Walmart for $10, which isn't bad. And I am just wearing this school necklace that I got at Kohl's, but any kind of necklace would do really. I wish I could wear the fangs, but these these are horrible. I can't get them to work, but if you guys can get them to work, then you will look like a genuine kind of vampire. So I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope this is helpful. So until next time, bye!